Hey guys, my name is Reed DuPont, and in this video I'm going to show you how to rig up a couple soft plastic baits, as well as a jig and a chatterbait. And watch till the end to see where you can get these baits for a very low price. Alright guys, let's get started with the first bait. Alright guys, the first bait we have here is a Zoom Watermelon Red Fluke. How we are going to rig this, we're going to take our bait, um, you see on the flute there's like an opening on the belly side, we're going to keep that inward. Put the hook through the head of the fluke, just a tad, and come out towards the belly side, like that. Then you're going to move the fluke up the hook, twist it around to get it to eye on the hook like this. Then what you're going to do is you're going to push the fluke forward a little bit, and you're going to put the hook right through its back. Just like this. Now, you can add a, um, a weight on here if you would like to to get it down deeper. What I also like about this is it's basically completely weedless as the hook barely comes out of the back of the bait, which is just awesome. Alright guys, so with this 6 inch Gary Automoto worm, this thing is super long compared to like, check it out compared to my hand. I actually caught my uh, largest smallmouth bass with this same bait black and blue, check it out. How we're gonna rig this, we are going to use a small hook like this. This one's actually bent a little bit. But for wacky worm, that's how I caught my um, big small mouth. You're gonna want to, you can see, it's kind of hard to see, but this worm has a, um, the lines that go vertical say stop right here. And on the inside, the inside one closest to the middle, that's where you want to put that hook. Been doing this for years and it's just, just this perfect spot. Place the hook in just like this. There you go. Now you can uh, hook it like a regular worm as well. Put the head of the, uh, or put the hook to the head of the bait tad bit, bring that up the hook, and then voila, it's weedless which is awesome, yeah but I mean it takes a lot, the fish is coming from behind, it's going to have to come all the way to here before it gets hooked, so I mean I don't like really like to do this on these bigger bigger worms, I prefer the wacky worm rig, um, but yeah, there's just another rig for y'all. Here we got a Gary Yanomoto soft plastic swim bait. The color is a uh, shad with, uh, you got like sparkles in here. It's pretty sweet. What we're gonna do, we're gonna take our hook. We're actually using a little bigger hook um, than the fluke. It's actually a uh, four ounce. So we're going to put the, uh, you have the belly side of the swim bait here. Face that inward. Put the hook through the head of the bait. Come out, just like this. Bring this bait all the way up the uh, eye of the to the eye of the uh, hook. And this can be the tough part, guys. This bait is so thick; it's got a lot of meat to it, so it's going to be hard to. Uh, it can be hard to get this hook up its through its back like this. And see what will happen. It'll slide, so I might not have gone far enough. We'll see. Yeah, so I need to go back a little bit more. These can definitely be tough. That might be far enough. And yes, there you go. Check that out. Here we go. This is also weedless, which is super sweet. So there's your uh, Gary Automoto swim bait. I absolutely love these uh, chatterbaits. These are by Z-Man. What we're going to use for trailer for this chatterbait is a um, black and blue crawdad. Match it up with the black and blue um, chatterbait. How we're going to do this is take the back of the crawdad, um, have his like front or like the um, eye and the head part facing away. Bring this guy up like this. And then as you get to the head, you're going to cut in. Bring 
that all the way up. Check that out. Absolutely looks amazing. Here is uh, the jig for y'all. And the trailer we're gonna be using is a creature. I guess you'd call this like a, I was thinking like it kind of looks like a squid, but I don't know, it's just some kind of creature bait. So what we're gonna, what we're gonna do here is pull back all these things here, these fiber things. And you're just gonna want to put this right through this creature. Just like that. Until you get to the bottom of them, to the head, and you just lift it up like this. And it looks like a mess right now. There's just so much stuff dangling. You're just gonna want to push that creature right up there. Check this out. It looks awesome. This thing just glides in the water. All right, guys, this is one of my favorite worms here. So this is the trick worm. Uh, I don't know exactly what color this is, but um, what I love about these is the back of this worm actually floats up. So you have a weight on these. And basically, um, the worm's on the ground like this, and the back of the um, worm is just floating up in the air as it's moving. So I like to use a, a smaller hook like this, and just go to the head of the worm, just a tad. As you see, most of these baits, it's just the same. You barely go in and they go up. All right, and then you see this the flat part of the worm here. Just want to put that bait right through there. And there you go. The trick worm. Alright guys, now you know the steps to rigging some different baits. I hope you learned something and can use these techniques on the water. Also, check out the link in the description below to see where you can get these baits for a really low price. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button below, share it with your friends, and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in that next video. Peace!